Hey, what's up guys? Jay Wink is back with another review. Um, this review is of um, Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. So Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales is the fifth installment in the Pirates franchise and is it as good? Is is it good or is it all right? Um I think it was pretty good. I really did like it more than Stranger Tides. Definitely more than World at World's End because that movie was really long and really boring. I think that was about three hours long. I remember I did my Pirates Marathon and I just got so bored watching that movie. But probably my two favorites would be the first, probably the second and the first one. Probably the second more than the first because I like I like Dead Men's Chest more. But um, definitely I think that this is probably my favorite now. Um, it's my kind of preference, so, you know, don't get mad or just be like, what? Why does he like this one? But I'm going to explain. So, um, this movie starts, it's a very good, um, it really sets up what the movie is about, and I did like that kind of motivation, and I'm not going to spoil it here, so don't worry, um, uh, because I know this movie just came out a couple, a few on Friday, and I just saw it on Friday, so I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But, um, yeah, I really did... Um, like how the beginning started and it really got character motivation for a certain character to go and you know help get something done and I really um, and there are a few characters a lot of new characters there's a couple inch characters new introduced such as um, Henry Turner and uh, I forgot her name the, the chick and that's probably something like bad but um i'm not good with names so but that's probably something i r wish i could remember her name oh uh, it was smith i remember that it was something smith but i don't remember her first name i think it starts with a c not sure but yeah this is, um both the new two leads are like the will and elizabeth of the first trilogy so i definitely i like those two i think they had all kind of all right chemistry it was kind of i could tell like yeah you know but that was how the original was they were kind of forced together you know but um and they really helped counterbalance jack sparrow and jack sparrow really does need people to play off of because in dead and on stranger tides he really doesn't have any to play off of and that really kind of brings the film down even more because Jack Sparrow he is a side character he needs people to play off of so he can um be because he's kind because then it kind of he's kind of the crazy one and they're kind of the ones that are like yes you know we need to focus on this we are you know the anchor to this ship and they can't they kind of give him the parameters way too out of control is too you know too much but um jack sparrow was definitely um a lot funnier in this one i think he definitely was pretty cool um and also um this pirates movie is definitely a lot over the top like every pirates movie especially like the first opening sequence well maybe like the first sequence with jack sparrow that was way over the top just like any other pirates movie so i really did appreciate that they kind of um, they kind of acknowledge the, you know, the over the topness of this franchise. Um, so I thought that was pretty funny. There were a lot of jokes though that kind of lasted too long or just got kept, kept bringing up or there were long pauses when they were supposed to laugh. And I noticed some of them, but, um, and it was not the best thing, but definitely there were a lot of funny moments and I, in the theater I was in, there were a lot of people laughing. So that was good. Um, also, something I really do want to say that I did like is the villain. Ha um, Javier Bardem's Captain Salazar I thought was a, did an amazing job. And I think the design and the, the look of the crew was very cool because they were dead and they kind of, their body kind of was the un ha that look of the underwaterness. Like they were still underwater because that's where what happened happened. And I thought that was really cool and interesting. And it was a very... Um, um, I'm trying to think of the word, um, um, interesting design choice, like I was going to say, it was a unique design choice and kind of, it really did help with the story a little bit more. And, um, I think I, it was definitely a very cool movie. Um, like I was saying, and there were a lot of good, um, a few good action sequences. There wasn't really that much. Um, and definitely, I think, Jack Sparrow and Captain Salazar, I think they should have had a better sword fight than they did, because I think definitely the one in um, Curse of the Black Pearl was better, but in this movie, he really doesn't, 
fight him. He is more scared than anything. And uh, even though, yes, he very much should be. Uh, but I think he should have at least fought back a little bit because he just kept running. You know, he never really kind of turn around and fight him. And I wish he would have done that. But um, there was a lot of good things about this movie. I think the MacGuffin of this movie really kind of worked. Um, I think was uh, was it would it definitely did kind of help resolve a lot of things. And I think um, my favorite part of the movie was the ending. I love the ending, and I'm pretty sure you guys know if you've seen the movie, you know what I'm talking about. The very end, I really did love that because as a fan of the original trilogy. Um, that really it was like, you know, kind of was like, you know, I like this, you know, I like seeing things hap you know, happy ending and it was just a very cool and I did kind of like that the pearl spoiler the pearl finally got out of the bottle, so that was cool. And I really did love the final sequence when they find the 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 trident of Poseidon. I hope that's not a spoiler. If you haven't seen any of the trailers or anything, sorry, but that's kind of what the whole goal is. Um, and I really did like that. Um, and it was also very cool. I liked the parallels between Henry Turner and Will Turner because Henry Turner is very much like his father. He is trying to break his father's curse. Sorry if not, it's not a spoiler. And that's very cool. And I really did like that because Will was trying to figure out the same thing and do the same thing in the original trilogy. So I really did like that. And um, like I said, um, hopefully there's one more Pirates film. I think but if there isn't any more then it'd be fine but i would really like to see both casts i'd like to see the original and the new cast kind of combined together um and i'd like to see what would happen i also kind of want to see an explanation of what the post credit scene for on stranger tides like is that going to have any effect on the universe is that voodoo doll you know anything is penelope cruz still alive you all well, obviously she's still alive but what is she doing it, did she get off the island and also this post credit scene yes definitely don't leave there is an after credit scene with this movie this after credit scene really does kind of set up for a sixth movie so but if they don't do it i think it'd be fine you know it could just have been whatever but i don't think because they kind of shot themselves in the foot when they were like yeah you know, this is the final adventure, and then have a post credit scene where it's like, yeah, we're having another movie, probably. But, um, definitely, it really did have a lot of fun in this movie. This visual, visually, this movie looked amazing, especially that whole last action sequence that, and I really did love that. Um, Jeffrey Rush, I think, did an amazing job. Johnny Depp, you know, he did Jack Sparrow as usual. And, um, uh, I really did like seeing a lot of the characters back from the, like, from the, um, original movies and from the new one like scrum he was in this and, and he was like the only character that made a return from the other one um i really did like seeing um some other certain characters come back that were in the original and when i know when i saw them the first time i was like is that them and i was like yeah that is them and that's cool and you know they were kind of fun they were the comedic relief in the original so yeah um definitely check this movie out if you're a pirates fan if not probably want to skip but in my opinion i think this movie is going to get a four out of five wings i really did enjoy this one i'm probably going to review the other pirates film later in the summer since you know i am reviewing this one now and i'll have time but yeah other than that guys i think that's about it and i'm jamie gum we can out